Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Myself, uh, Dr. Sumit Patil, and I make videos upon English literature. And up till now, I have made uh, several videos uh, based upon uh, the uh, history of English literature, as well as uh, apart from history of English literature, I have made a series of uh, videos wherein, uh, if you go to my YouTube channel, you will find that uh, from Anglo-Saxon period uh, to post-modern period, and uh, there are several videos which I have made. And uh, in today's video. I would be talking about uh, uh, pen names used by uh, British uh, writers as well as writers throughout the world uh, and why they used uh, pen names and uh, the reason behind that is uh, uh, they didn't want to uh, show their identity or else uh, they thought that we should not use our original name to uh, write down or to highlight their views in their uh, writings. Now, uh, the first and the foremost thing uh, that I would like to highlight is there are uh, several authors uh, around uh, 40 to 50 authors or British writers. There are mainly British writers as well as other writers from uh, throughout the world wherein uh, uh, they used the pen names. And uh, to begin with uh, uh, the, the writers, the first and the foremost writer today uh, I am going to talk about is uh, Anne Bronte. Now these are the three writers or three uh, sisters who pen down their views, uh, Charlotte, Emily and Anne Bronte. Now uh, to talk about Anne Bronte, uh, she used a pen name that is Acton Bell. Acton Bell she, uh, is the pen name which she used and she was born on 17th January 1820 and passed away on 28th of May 1849. Uh, she was uh, a very famous, uh, I should say, uh, poet, novelist uh, among the Bronte sisters and uh, her uh, famous novel is Agnes Grey which was published in the year 1847 and as well as Wuthering Heights. Uh, uh, with uh, with her sister or her uh, second novel that is Wuthering Heights and the more then after that the tenant of the Whitefall Hall is also uh, one of her uh, famous uh, novels written by uh, uh, Anne Bronte. Now coming to the next uh, writer that is uh, Charlotte Bronte her sister who used a, a pen name that is Currer Bell born on 1816. Uh, and uh, passed away on 31st of March 1855. Uh, she was also a great novelist as compared to her uh, sister Anne Bronte and uh, her major works are Jane Eyre, Shirley, Willett, The Professor and uh, uh, the, the, uh, apart from that she also contributed writing with her sister that is Anne Bronte and uh, uh, now coming to the next uh, sister that is Emily Bronte. He so she used Ellis Bell as her uh, uh, pen name and uh, she was born in the year 1818, 30th July 1818 and passed away on 19th December 1848 and uh, she is known as uh, uh, best known for her uh, novel that is Wuthering Heights and uh, she also published a, uh, a collection of poetries uh, with, with her uh, uh, sisters that is Charlotte and Anne. Uh, entitled as uh, or you all know that Acton and uh, Currer Ellis, Acton Bell and Currer Ellis, they are uh, her sisters used uh, the pen name and uh, Emily Bronte she used her pen name as Ellis Bell. Coming to the next uh, writer that is uh, the most famous Victorian writer or Victorian novelist that is none other than Charles Dickens who was born on 7th February 1812, 1812 and passed away on 9th June 1870. He was not only English uh, famous uh, writer or English famous novelist, but he focused upon the social, political and economical life of that time when uh, small children were compelled to work in the factories as well as uh, in his biography, in his autobiography that is David Copperfield. Charles Dickens also mentions himself about his life in uh, when he was young that he also worked in a uh, in a factory that wherein uh, bottles were labeled and uh, uh, her and his uh, aunt uh, she took away from that uh, factory and uh, she nurtured him well and then he became a uh, lawyer and so on and so forth he started uh, writing and his pen name charles dickens pen name is boz 
and uh, to talk about his uh, some of his uh, famous novels that is uh, the pickwick papers which was uh, posthumous uh, papers of the pickwick club uh, that was a monthly serial from april 1836 to april uh, to november 1837 and then he penned down oliver twists that is the adventures of the oliver twist in the serial bentley's miscellany and then nicholas nickleby the life and adventures of nicholas nickleby in the monthly serial uh, from april 1838 to december 1839 as well as uh, the next is also uh, the most important uh, novel written by charles dickens that is the old curiosity shop that was also a uh, weekly serial in master humphrey's clock from 1840 to 1841 and then barnaby rudge uh, is also another novel then christmas carol uh, this is also uh, one of the most uh, famous uh, novels by uh charles dickens and then martin uh, shuzelwit the shimes the cricket of the her on the hearth the battle of life dombey and son the haunted man then the most famous that is david copperfield that is his own charles dickens's personal history from the uh, from the day he was born uh, and as you all know uh, that he was born at the strike of 12 o'clock midnight and at that point of time it was uh, considered that it is not good to be born on uh, the strike or at the midnight but uh, as you all know that uh, he uh, did very well in his life and uh, apart from david copperfield bleak house hard times that is uh, uh, the most famous quote that it was the best of the times and it was the worst of the times is the uh, most quoted or most famous uh, initial lines of a novel which everyone remembers till date and then little dorrit is also uh, his uh, another famous uh, novel as well as a tale of two cities great expectations and our mutual friend is also uh, novels written by charles dickens now coming to another major writer that is uh, mary ann evans she is also one of the most uh, famous writers of her time and she used pen name that is george eliot now to talk about mary ann evans she used this pen name because of the social restrictions that was going on during that period now the social restrictions were that women were not allowed to publish their writings or to publish their uh, novels or plays or poems or any kind of genre why because it was the male dominated uh, uh, i should say mainstream or field where, wherein women were not allowed to come into the literary field and published and now to talk about her life that is she was born on 22nd of november 1819 and she passed on uh, 22nd of december uh, 1880 and she pen she used a pen name as i told you that is george eliot now i would be talking about her famous novels that is the mill on the floors adam bead uh, silas mariner ramola felix hot middle march is also middle march is the most uh, famous novel uh, written by uh, mary ann evans and uh, which was published during the year 1871 and 72 then daniel deronda and charles dickens and thomas hardy uh, from the provincial england uh, that is uh, most of the works were written here and she focused on realism and uh, psychological insight now coming to the next uh, writer uh, he is also most famous is uh, like he used his pen name rather than his uh, own name that is george orwell and his uh, name is Arth uh, eric arthur blair now to talk about uh, george orwell uh, he was born on 25th of uh, june 1903 passed away in 1950 and he is also most uh, famous essayist journalist and critic and his works if i talk about his works that is uh, the road his non fictional works that is uh, the road to wigan pier published in 1937 and homage to Catalon catalonia 1938 and uh, during the spanish uh, civil war he also published a few critical essays and uh, uh, upon politics and uh, literature language and culture and he is also considered as uh, the times uh, uh, fifth most uh, greatest uh, 50 british writers of uh, that time and then coming to the next uh, famous uh, author that is charles lamb who used uh, the pen name that is elia he was born in the year uh, 
1775, 10th February 1775 and passed away on uh, 27th of December 1834 and his uh, most famous essays is entitled as Essays of Ilya and uh, apart from that he wrote uh, especially for children that is uh, Tales from Shakespeare and his uh, sister Mary Lamb she also co-authored for this uh, uh, to, to, to write down this book that is Tales from uh, Shakespeare and then he had uh, very uh, famous uh, friends during his time that his time is uh, the uh, late uh, 18th century and now coming to his uh, friends that is S.T. Coleridge that is romantic uh, uh, people, romantic uh, uh, literature wherein uh, S.T. Coleridge and William Wordsworth, Robert Southey and William Hazlitt are one of the most uh, uh, famous people of during this point of time and Charles Lamb also has his own uh, uh, I should say his own uh, identity during this point of time and then coming to the works of Charles Lamb there, there, there is a large number of works which he wrote down but I will highlight few works that is blank verse poems which were published in 1798 then a tale of Rosamond Grey and old bride blind uh, Margaret 1798 then John uh, Woodville tales from Shakespeare as I told you that uh, his contribution with with his sister uh, and then adventure of the Ulysses on the tragedies of Shakespeare, Witches and Other Night Fears, The Pawnbroker's Daughter, Eliana, Essays of Elia, that is published in 1823. Now, coming to the next uh, famous, I should say famous writer of uh, American literature, that is Mark Twain. He used Mark Twain as the pen name writer, but his original name was Samuel Langhorne Clemens. Now, to talk about his uh, identity or his uh, role in the American literature that he is also often called as the great American novelist and his uh, 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 novel is also most famous that is The Adventures of the Huckleberry Finn published in 1884 and he is also called as the father of American literature as uh, uh, told by uh, the people of uh, United States and then coming to the next uh, writer or author that is Agatha Christie British writer she used uh, the pen name that is Mary West McCott uh, born in the year 1890 and uh, passed away in the year 1976 she not only worked or she wrote but she worked as a nurse during the uh, world war uh, I, uh, if I remember it correctly that was the world war uh, one and uh, uh, she she uh, worked for the betterment of the people and uh, uh, she is also considered as uh, uh, or her contributions are also considered uh, in the Guinness World uh, Record as the best selling fiction writer of all time. And the next writer that is Hilda Doolittle, he, she used her pen name as, as HD, uh, the initial letters of her, of her name that is Hilda and Doolittle. Uh, now here, uh, he, to talk about Hilda Doolittle, she is among the early 20th century avant guard imagist group of poets wherein uh, Ezra Pound and Richard Aldington uh, were during uh, her time and then to talk about the next uh, famous writer that is Hector Hugh Munro he used his pen name as Saki published in the year uh, uh, his uh, short stories he is most famous for his short stories and uh, uh, to talk about his uh, uh, short stories uh, that is uh, 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 he penned down or he uh, wrote a parliamentary parody on the Alice of uh, Wonderland and uh, he was influenced by Oscar Wilde, Lewis Carroll, Rudyard Kipling and he kept uh, he himself influenced A.A. Uh, A. Milne, Noel Coward and P.G. Woodhouse. Coming to the next uh, writer William Sidney Potter he also uh, is also famous for short stories and he penned down the uh, short stories using the title that is O Henry and uh, apart from this Sylvia Plath is also another famous uh, uh, I should say uh, writer wherein uh, she focused upon confession and confessional poetries and uh, Ted Hughes as you all know her uh, uh, better half her husband who they didn't had a good relationship with uh, among their in their marriage but she focused upon her uh, writings uh, wherein she uh, 
pen down about confessions and uh, the colossus and other poems uh, which was published in the year 1960 and ariel published in the year uh, 1965 and uh, the bell jar is also called as her semi autobiographical novel now coming to the next point or next person that is kingsley amis uh, he used the pen name as robert markham and uh, uh, he is uh, best known for satirical he is best known for satirical comedies such as lucky jim now coming to the next uh, writer which i right now pointed that is lewis carroll he uh, used lewis carroll as his uh, pen name but his name is charles lutwidge dogson he is a uh, uh, poems that is uh, uh, are famous uh, and uh, uh, he used a genre which is uh, uh, which was known as literary nonsense as he was also a mathematician photographer inventor and anglican edit uh, editor now coming to the next uh, person that is ray bradbury who used uh, uh, the pen name as uh, douglas spadling and then uh, most uh, i should say most uh, uh, influential person that is voltaire uh, he used voltaire as the pen name and his uh, original name is francois mary oret uh, born in the year 1694 21 of november Uh, and passed away on 30th of may 1778 no uh, as also known as norm de plume uh, uh yeah, most famously remembered for french enlightenment as well as philosopher critic historian and uh, to talk about criticism on uh, the religion that is uh, christianity uh, and he focused especially upon roman catholic church and advoc advocated for the freedom of speech freedom of religion and separation of church and state now uh, coming to the next uh, writer that is henry ibsen he used the pen name that is brinjolf uh, brijam and uh, uh, his uh, short stories or his novels uh, are also famous wherein uh, uh, if i talk about his uh, uh, novel that is uh, uh, just a second uh just hold on a minute uh, there are some issues uh, where in uh, uh, there are technical problems uh yeah so here I, as i was talking about uh, um, binjar uh, henry gibson he is a uh, famous essays or he is famous uh, uh, writing he focused upon uh, realism and then uh, not about that doll's house is also famous and uh, when we uh, dead awaken and uh, so on and then coming to the uh, next uh, writer that is daniel defoe's uh, uh, daniel defoe is also uh, used he used his pen name as daniel fo and his uh, most famous famous novel is robinson crusoe and uh, apart from that doris lessing she used her pen name that is jane somers uh, a novel uh, laureate or nobel uh, uh, she was awarded nobel nobel prize Uh, and uh, her several uh, i should say uh, novels are famous but amongst that that is uh, the golden no notebook is famous 1962 and then uh, pearl sidenstricker buck is another uh, writer she used her pen name as john sedges uh, written in the uh, uh, i should say her novel the good earth was the best selling fiction book in the united states in the year 1931 and 1932 and she won the pulitzer prize for uh, her uh, works and then uh, anton chekhov uh, who who doesn't know anton chekhov and uh, he along with henry gibson uh, they the henry gibson august uh, strindberg and uh, 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 anton chekhov these three are called as uh, Uh, the the theater people or the people who focused more upon theater then coming to the uh, next uh, writer that is vladimir nabokov he used uh, his uh, pen name that is vladimir surin he was a uh, uh, russian american swiss novelist poet translator and then uh, tony morrison uh, uh, she also is remembered for her uh, autobiographical novel that is beloved and uh, she won the nobel prize in the year 1933 coming to the next uh, writer that is cecil de lewis he uh, used the pen name as nicholas blake and uh, cecil de lewis's 
uh, is famous for the translation of Virgil's uh, uh, Georgics, Paul Verri's Le Cimenter Mar Marine, then Virgil's Aeneid and Virgil's Eclogue. And uh, apart from that, uh, uh, Joseph Conrad is also famous. Uh, Joseph Theodore uh, Conrad is his uh, original name and then uh, he used Joseph Conrad as his pen name. He also is uh, famous for his uh, early modernist thoughts in the realism or realistic uh, point of time. Uh, uh, and Joseph Conrad's novels is uh, uh, famous that is Outcast of the uh, Islands, The Nigger of the Narcissus, Lord Jim, The Inheritors, Ford with, uh, with Ford Maddox Ford and then Nostromo, uh, Victory, The Shadow Line, The Arrow of Gold and Rescue and The Nature of Crime. And uh, uh, apart from that, uh, Jean, uh, Jean Baptiste uh, Pauclin, that is uh, Moliere, he used uh, his uh, stage name or his uh, pen name as Moliere and he is uh, most famous for comedies, farces, tragic comedies, born in the year 1622 and uh, passed away in the year 1673. And then uh, to talk about uh, Charles Kingsley, he used his pen name as Parson Lot and uh, uh, he is famous for Christian Socialism, Working Men's College, Labour Cooperatives and uh, he was a friend and correspondent of the Charles Darwin. As you all know, he uh, penned down the most famous book that is the uh, Origin of uh, Species. And then to talk about another famous uh, writer of that time, uh, the brother, sister of Dante Gabriel Rossetti, that is Christina, Christina Rossetti, born in the year 1830, passed away in the year 1894. She is also, uh, she also wrote uh, words of two Christmas carols, well known in the United Kingdom as in the Bleak Midwinter, by, uh, which was said by Gustav Holst and Harold Dark. And uh, as you all know, right now I told you that she was a sister of uh, Dante Gabriel uh, Rossetti. Now, the another writer uh, that is Benjamin Franklin, he used not only one uh, pen name, but he used uh, several pen names uh, during his lifetime or during his career. That is uh, Silence Doggood, Miss, uh, Mrs. Doggood, uh, and uh, uh, Franklin, uh, and uh, Meanwell, Allies, uh, uh, Adentro, Richard, uh, uh, Saunders and so many so many uh, uh, pen names uh, Benjamin Franklin used and uh, you must uh, read once in your lifetime his autobiography to uh, articulate the the time or the uh, the day how we should use the day uh, in our life and how we should uh, uh, respect time he has penned down very uh, lucidly in his autobiography Benjamin Franklin one of the foremost founders of uh, uh, United States Constitution and uh, father of uh, we should say father of uh, United States also and then another writer that is William McPhee Thackeray he is also known as a uh, famous uh, I should say uh, satire famous for his satirical works that is Vanity Fair and uh, apart from him the recent or the contemporary writer uh, that is uh, none other than the writer or the person who wrote uh, Harry Potter series that is JK Rowling she used her pen name as Joanne Kathleen Rowling and uh, as you all know that early when uh, uh, earlier when her uh, novels or were, were when her uh, fiction were not uh, uh, getting published she was slightly disturbed or she uh, she thought that the thing which I wrote down uh, it is of no use but later on I guess after 50s her uh, uh, she got a good publication uh, house and then the uh, Harry Potter series were published and right now she is also considered as the most uh, uh, selling uh, or her works is also considered as the most selling works throughout the globe uh, and uh, apart from that Stephen King is the last person whom I would be talking about in this video uh, he used his name as uh, Richard Bachman he is uh, known of uh, several uh, different genres such as horror, supernatural fiction, suspense, crime, science fiction and fantasy. 
and uh, his books have been sold more than 350 million copies because he focused on horror supernatural things suspense crime because these kind of genres were not available in the previous ages and hence in the contemporary uh, era or in the contemporary time people read this this kind of uh, genres in their uh, uh, in their uh, i should say in their uh, lifetime so i hope uh, i made uh, the points clear that is there are several writers who use their uh, names and uh, there are several writers who didn't use their names while writing or publishing their books so uh, this is the uh, this is the thing which i would like to uh, share with you that uh, 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 the the pen names and the people who used it and now uh, to conclude this video i would like to say to you that uh, this this video uh, uh, i made especially uh, because there were few comments in my uh, in my videos that please make videos upon pen names and their people so i made this video and uh, i apologize to you that i was not available or i i was unable to publish videos during one month or so i had uh, uh, some other work so uh, i urge you all to subscribe to my channel and henceforth i would be publishing regularly within a week uh, twice or thrice and then uh, please comment below that uh, what all things you liked and what all things you disliked so that i can make improvements and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel by pressing the red button there as well as uh, all the uh, uh, push uh, uh, please click on the all push notifications so that you will get the notifications of my upcoming videos Thank you so much and share this video as much as possible. Take care.